back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to Lime Baby and Living. This is my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom and occasionally I have been trying things that I've seen on TikTok. So today we are going to try to blow like Jolly Rancher bubbles. <laughs> now I just heated up this Jolly Rancher, my favorite flavor. It was the only one in the pack. Watermelon, of course. And we are going to use a straw, dip it in, and just try to blow like this big bubble. And on TikTok, there's like these huge bubbles that come out, and we're gonna see if we can get the same result here. So to do this, I just put one Jolly Rancher in this bowl, heat it up for 30 seconds, and then it wasn't melty at all. I put it in for another 30 seconds, and then it was nice and melty. I'm assuming that if you had a metal straw, that would probably be ideal, but I didn't want to use plastic, so I'm using a paper straw instead. So let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, so here goes nothing. Come on. Dud. It's very hot. That almost got it going. <laughs> this is the closest I could get. Then it becomes like crunchy. So that was obviously a dud. Um, I think I'm gonna give it a try with another flavor. Maybe I should have done another flavor first so that I could just really enjoy my favorite flavor since it was the only one in the pack. I am going to fill this up with some water so that the Jolly Rancher can just dissolve and easily wash out. And let's go dirty up another bowl and I'll try blowing it right out of the microwave and I'll stand right there ready to film for you guys to watch. All right, well, the nice thing about a paper straw is I can cut off the end and give this a fresh try. So the end is now cut off. This will be the end I blow from because it's not totally perfect. And we're gonna do a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher now, another yummy favorite of mine. And instead of using a bowl, I am gonna be using a paper plate. I'm gonna put the Jolly Rancher towards the edge because this is a little raised plate so that hopefully I can get like a good swirl. But let's go ahead and microwave this for maybe 45 seconds, um, just straight and see how that works out. And I'll try to do this very quickly. <laughs> okay, it's starting to bubble right now and that's only after like 25 seconds. So I'm gonna stop it. It's bubbling, it's hot. I don't know why it did differently on the paper plate, but come on guy. Maybe it's got to cool down just a little bit. This is like a total dud. Everyone I saw on TikTok, like it was working like crazy for them. Maybe it's just still too hot. <laughs> so this tiny little piece like flung off, it like dissolves in your mouth. Maybe I'll have to try like a thicker plastic straw and see if it's the straw, see if it's something else. I really don't know. I'm so disappointed. I was looking forward to this. I thought it'd be like a fun thing to do with my nieces and nephews. I don't know if it's the straw. I'm trying like either doing a lot of air, like high pressure, low pressure, nothing's working. I feel really hot. Yeah. I am disappointed once again. I feel like a lot gets wasted because it hardens on your plate or on your bowl or whatever, and it's not working for me. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try this one more time with a plastic straw that I don't care if it gets messed up or not. I don't know if there's like issue with the paper. And then I'm gonna use the paper plate again only do it for like 20, 25 seconds, and we'll see what happens. So while that's heating up, I am using this little tiny like cut off piece of a Starbucks straw, and maybe like me blowing closer to the candy will help, I don't know. All right, I put it in for 23 seconds. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Okay, come on little candy. 
Be nice. There we go. Okay, I think it was the straw. <laughs> and then it comes out looking like this when it gets all crumpled up. That was kind of a dud. You definitely want it to be like bubbly and hot because as soon as it starts to get a little bit more like, I don't know, looks more firm, you don't get this out. But the straw definitely did a lot more than what that paper straw did. So let me heat this up again and see if I can use a little bit more. Also should note this little plastic straw from Starbucks has not like fully melted or anything. That's good to know. Oh, it's still too hot. No. Okay, gotta clean that up. Yeah, there's definitely a small window of like workability here. <laughs> it's definitely fun to watch, but like obviously if you just want to enjoy your candy, just enjoy your candy. But it kind of gives like a cotton candy like feel to eating your hard Jolly Rancher. Yeah, I think it's getting too solidified again. <laughs> but it's still very hot. So as soon as the bubbles come out, you can stuff those in your mouth because it's so thin, it's gonna cool off. But if you have any thick part of it, it's still very hot, too hot to put in your mouth, especially with little ones. But that wraps up today's little trying TikTok episode. I do think that I learned a lot in trying this. I don't know if I'm gonna do this again, maybe with my older nieces and nephews, just as something really fun and like, oh, you guys wanna see this or whatever, but there's a lot of waste, so keep that in mind. It is kind of like, oh, that's cool and funny, but then you did it once, you kind of don't really need to do it again. I have another fun trying TikTok video coming up soon, and it is a great activity for kids, so make sure you guys stick around for that. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and check out all that I have to offer. And we got a lot coming up in the future. We're gonna have our fun little gender reveal video coming up, as well as Aubrey's birthday, so there's gonna be a lot of party preps and I'm just excited to bring you guys along with me. So don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on that. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.